Well, let's take a look at some CFA problems here. Uh, problem number one, uh, given $100,000 to invest, what is the expected risk premium in dollars of investing in equities versus risk-free T-bills based on the following table? Okay, you are given this uh, table right here. If you invest in equities, there is a 60% probability that you will get uh, $50,000 in return. On the other hand, uh, there is a 40% uh, probability that you will lose uh, $30,000 here. There's a little minus sign here. So this would be a loss. If you invest in T-bills, then you get $5,000, right? So uh, the question is, what is the risk premium? Basically, the risk premium is the, the return that you get over and above the risk-free rate or the risk-free return. So in this particular problem, you know that the risk-free return is $5,000, right? So whatever you get above uh, $5,000 would be the risk premium. So what you have to do is you have to take the weighted average, right? So it's 60% uh, uh, times uh, $50,000 plus 40% times minus uh, $30,000. And if you take the weighted average, it turns out to be 18,000, right? So the return from equities is $18,000, but the return from the risk-free investment is $5,000. So the risk premium in dollars would be 18,000 minus 5,000, and the answer is $13,000. Okay, problem number two, based on the scenarios below, what is the expected return for a portfolio with the following return profile? And you have this table right here. Uh, there are three possible outcomes. If, the, uh, if, there's a bear, if there's a bear market, then the return is minus uh, 25%, and the probability of having a bear market is only 0.2 or 20%. Uh, it, if the market is just normal, which is 30% likely, then the return would be 10%. And if there's a bull market, then the return would be 24% and it's 50% likely. So what you do is you take the weighted average and you get the, uh, the return. The average, I mean the expected return. Okay, so here's the solution. Uh, problem number two. Uh, basically, you just take the take the uh, the weighted average, right? Uh, probability uh, of having a bad market is 0 0.2 times the uh, return that you get from that uh, if there is a bad market, which is minus 25%, right? And then you keep doing this. There are three possible outcomes. Then you have three terms, and the answer is 10%. Okay, number three. Uh, use the following scenario analysis for stocks X and Y to answer CFA problems 3 through 6. Okay, Again, you have three possible states, bear, normal, and bull. You see the probability distribution. Uh, you see the uh, return in each uh, state for stock X and stock Y. Problem number 3, what are the expected rates of return for stocks X and Y? So uh, this is uh, very straightforward. Just take the weighted average for stock X and take the weighted average for stock Y, right? So let's take a look at this uh, solution here. For stock X, right, you take the weighted average right here. You have three terms, one, two, three, and it's 20%. Uh, for stock Y, you take the weighted average again and you get 10%. So the answer is the expected return for stock X is 20 and the expected return for stock Y is 10. Uh, number four, what are the standard deviations of returns on stocks X and Y? Okay, here's how you get the standard deviation for stock X, right? You have sigma square, which is the variance of stock X, is equal to, uh, first of all, you have the probability right here, 0 0.2, right? This is the probability of having a bear market. And then uh, the, the average return or the expected return is 20%. So basically what you do is you find a difference between the return in that particular state if there's a bad market, right? And the average return, which is 20, and then you square the difference, 
and then you multiply that by the probability right uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this because you have taken at least one class in statistics so you get the um, uh, the variance of stock X which is 592 you take the square root of that number you get 24.33 which is the standard deviation or Sigma uh, then you move on to stock Y right uh, you compute the variance of stock Y just like you did with stock X and you get 175 <clears throat> you take the square root you get 13.23 right here number five assume that uh, your portfolio uh, assume that your portfolio uh, your ten thousand dollars portfolio uh, I'm sorry I read it wrong assume that of your ten thousand dollar portfolio you invest nine thousand in stock X and ten uh, one thousand dollars in stock Y what is the expected return on your portfolio okay you know that the expected return for X is 20 and the expected return for Y is 10 right so you invest 90% uh, of your money in stock X so it's 0 0.9 uh, times 20 plus you invest 10% in stock Y so it's 10% uh, times uh, 10 so it's, you have uh, the weighted average of 19% so that's the return of your portfolio number six uh, probabilities for three states of the economy and probabilities for the returns on a particular stock in each state are shown in the table below right so there are three possible outcomes uh, for the economy good neutral and poor and for each state of the economy you have three possible outcomes uh, for the stock which is good neutral and poor so you have a total of nine uh, possible outcomes you have all the, uh, the probabilities here so the question is what is the probability that the economy will be neutral and the stock will experience poor performance right so you look at this table right here you can see that the probability of having a neutral economy is 0 0.5 right and within this uh, state of the economy the probability of having poor performance is 0 0.3 so this is what we call conditional probability so the, prob the probability of having poor performance is conditional on having a neutral economy so the idea is you have to multiply uh, 0 0.5 by 0 0.3 right here and you get the, uh, the probability of having uh, poor performance in a neutral economy all right number seven an analyst estimates that a stock has the following probabilities of return depending on the state of the economy uh, good normal and poor uh, the question is what is the expected return of the stock so it's very simple you just take the weighted average right you multiply 0 0.1 by 15 then 0 0.6 by 13 0 0.3 by 7 and then you add all of them together and the answer here is 11.4 percent that would be the expected return of the stock okay that's uh, all the CFA problems you can see that some of the CFA problems are relatively straightforward and simple so they're not as intimidating as you may have uh, expected them to be anyway well, thank you very much for your uh, attention